Hey, how are we? So, um, yeah, progress update. So, um, since my last videos, um, so I looked at the, um, the tabs that I ground off um, for the bottom of the rear tank there, and I wasn't really happy with um, leaving it how it was. Um, it wasn't, um, I, I don't think it was probably strong enough to carry my weight and all the luggage and fuel and everything like that like that that I have to carry so um, yeah so I was, I was a bit concerned about that um, so I decided to to basically brace that back up so build that back up um, so I managed to get some stainless some uh, 316 stainless uh, sheet um, and obviously this is a, a chrome molly frame so I had to do a bit of research um, to see if I could weld the two together. Um, I can, um, I just needed a certain type of um, uh, welding uh, filler rod, uh, TIG filler rod. Um, so yeah, so I basically went about, just made some um, cardboard templates um, with, the t with the tank in place. And it's only, you know, only some small sections that I, that I needed. Um, so I, yeah, so I drew them up, I cut them out, I cut them out of the, out of the stainless sheet that I had and, um, and yeah, they, they fit pretty well. So I then went straight away, I got just excited to, to get it on. Um, at the same time I was, you know, I was a little bit nervous about, um, welding on a, on this frame, but like I said before, things can be things can be fixed by um someone that actually knows what they're doing so so anyway so um i went ahead and, and had a go anyway my first time doing it turned out okay i didn't bother recording it because uh you know i'd probably get a probably get a few um yeah i didn't want to be judged too much on my on my welding skills so uh, so i didn't bother recording that um so yeah so i will i'll, I'll quickly show you what i what i did Okay, so um, yeah, you'll have to excuse the lighting. I'm trying, again, I'm trying not to use the main lights, but I, I don't think I had a, have an option. I did try and use some other lighting, but um, it just it just flickers way too much. So I do apologize if it's a bit too shadowy. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, so this is, this, is, this is what I did. It doesn't look amazing. Um, definitely not amazing, um, but hey, it, it, it will do the job. It's strong enough. Um, the uh, the reason it's they're two different shapes is because it follows the recesses in the new uh, rear tank. So uh, that that's the reason for that. Um, I did put the tank on and off a few times just to make sure nothing's going to clash. And if it did, then I just ground a little bit more out. Um, again, doesn't look that pretty, but it's more than enough what I need. Um, I, don't think the original tank will fit on with these, but that's okay because I'm not going to be using that again. So, um, so yeah, this is what it is. Um, yeah, I think it should be. I think it should be fine. So yeah, so I also managed to get hold of some paint that I think should match pretty well. Um, can't find a an actual paint code for the Husqvarna blue frame here. Um, yeah, I did troll the internet for quite a while to, to try and find something but the closest I could find from what I actually got from someone else on some other forum somewhere um, is the RAL so R-A-L 5011 um, so I, I went to my local paint shop um, specialist paint shop um, and they yeah they mixed it up for me straight away there and then um, bit expensive but that's okay that's all right um, so yeah, so um, I'll put some etch primer on the band of metal there, and then um, and then yeah, hopefully I should match the paint up pretty well. So it, it, the guy managed to um, mix it up in like a it's not a matte finish; it's more of a satin finish. Obviously the frame, so hopefully it turns out all right. So what I'm going to show you today is um, I'm going to um, mark up and cut out some more bracing for the front part of the tank so um, again a little bit concerned about the new holes that i drilled for the top of the rear tank um, 
I feel they're maybe just a little bit close to the edge and I don't maybe the material might not be as strong as what I what I thought it would be. So um, yeah, so I'll just quickly show you um, what I've done. I, I did just mark it up last night, um, just because I was tinkering around in the garage and, and doing a few other bits. So um, <clears throat> I just thought I would, yeah, mark this out and uh, and show you, and then uh, I'll show you. I'll, I won't have the sound on obviously because I've got to got to cut it out with a grinder and stuff like that. So yeah, so this is what I did last night. Just quickly put the masking tape over, um, and then I, I did the other side as well. And, and while I was around the other side, I just I I marked it out. So so these are my bits of stainless, and this. So that that is the, that's the template there. It doesn't look any, anything flash, but um, it will do exactly what I need it to do. Um, so, as, as you know, I've got the Aurora um, Super 701 kit coming, so that's, you know, the same as the Explorer, except for just without the nav, nav tower and, and, and windshield and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so obviously the the OEM, the, the tanks, are, the front tanks are coming, and also the uh, Aurora... Um, uh, mounting system for the tanks so I just quickly looked through their video and just had a, uh, a little a little look at what bolt holes they're using for the rear mount on the front tanks um, so yeah so they use the two holes so I'm not sure if you can see so they use the two um, cutouts in the in the frame mounting brackets there so they have a, a backing plate that goes on the on the other side of their of their uh, support um, so I'm basically gonna do the same so for I'm just gonna I'm not going to use their um, their backing plate I'm going to use my own because I want it to cover a bigger area um, because I want it to also fit in with the um, sorry the front um, the front bolt hole of the rear tank if that makes sense so so basically I'll be joining I'll be joining the two together on you know as a as a bit of a bracing so um, yeah so that's my plan anyway so um, I, it should work I, I can't see why it shouldn't so like I say I didn't see the backing plate that they that they produce um, but there's no reason why this this shouldn't work so from what I can tell from the Aurora installation videos is that it's just a nut and bolt system so I may have to get long, some longer slightly longer bolts um, you know and um, to put this on but there's no drama They've, it's pretty standardized bolts that they're using I think they just use some some dome head um, Allen key bolts, so yeah, easy to get. Yeah, I'll probably make a start cutting these out, um, and I'll, I'll drill the holes where I think need to be drilled. Um, there's a few that I won't drill straight away um, because, like I say, I want, I want, I'm still waiting for the Aurora kit to turn up. The Aurora kit was supposed to be sent out um, last week, but. Um, uh, they didn't because they weren't they weren't happy with the finish of the side panels that that, that they get supplied so um, which which is great because it means that they take pride in quality you know in a quality product which is which is great so so the only the only slight downside for me is that I'll be back at work when when the you know the the kit arrives which I would like to have been here you know but that's all right yeah I can't do much about it. I've got to go back to work on Thursday for three weeks. So, is what it is. We've got to keep the money coming in, I suppose. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, like I say, I won't be drilling all the holes. I've got to wait until that kit turns up to get the to get their brackets. Um, so I can definitely match up everything. So, but I'll cut out the the, the main pieces and, and drill <coughs> and drill probably. I could drill three of the holes. No big deal. That's all right. Um, yeah. All right. 
Let's have a go. Okay, so there we are. There's the there's the shape cut out. Anyway, so it's just now down to drilling, drilling a couple of or a few holes. Um, yeah, they line up. You know, they're considering I did them individually. They're pretty much identical. I think one's ever is slightly larger, may, maybe a mil or so, but it's not going to matter. Um, so yeah, so I'll just I'll just try them quickly on the back of the on the back of the mounts on the frame and uh yeah see if they're the right shape um yeah just quickly just just um put a fillet on on all of them as well just to get rid of the sharp edges and stuff um yeah let's have a look so that's the obviously left hand side so yeah looks fairly good i mean the center punches were a yeah, it's not too bad. I just need to, um, you know, mark out the holes just a, a little bit better, but um, you can probably get the idea on the back. I'll just try and hold it roughly. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a bracing, just a bit extra support for basically for that for that hole that I drilled there so um yeah so like I say I'll, I'll probably just I'll clamp it down now I'll mark out the holes um, a bit more accurately um yeah and then they're pretty much pretty much done um I might actually I might even paint these as well once once I get the Aurora kit I'll paint them so I'm just going to use the head strap again, just so you can really see what I'm doing with my hands and hopefully I'll get the, the camera angle a bit better this time. I did notice obviously my, my other videos that I put up that it was a bit crap. So yeah, bear with me. All right, let's put the left side on. I don't even know what, where's the right one? Oh, it's up there. Okay, that's all right. So I'll just clamp this on. Just get that lined up roughly. I may just, just grind off a little bit more on there, but it doesn't really need it to be honest. Just me being fussy. All right. Oh, I better have even got that set up. Come on, no. All right. All right, let's try again. So, it feels fairly good. That center that is roughly in the center, so that's my main one that I need to kind of that's my datum point, I guess. Okay, it's not too bad. I just try and shuffle it just up the front there, just a little bit. Okay, yeah. Try and show you. Yeah, it looks 
looks all right. So yeah, I've just got to, like I say, I've just got to just adjust my center points there where I just, yeah, just eyed them up really. Um, masking tape isn't exactly the most accurate thing in the world, but hey, it gives you the rough shape. Got the pen. Uh, let's see. I'll just remark that one anyway. Uh, to be honest, I might actually just get a scribe, okay? Okay, so uh, I might just scribe out these as well. Just, I mean, I don't really need to, but. So when the, um, when the kit does turn up, I will, I would just place on place on the front piece here on the side piece sorry the side piece and then I'll just I'll literally just drill straight straight through the um, the holes that are supplied by the Aurora kit um, it's yeah, the easiest at least it will match up properly then right now little ratchet okay so just catch their washer as well Just remember, obviously, the two, these two cables here, obviously going there. So once I've drilled the holes, I'll put them straight on anyway. Put that straight on, and it's done then. Um, I'll just leave that on top. Um, all right, let's clamp this on. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Actually marked out the wrong side. Anyway, what was that? Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Again, just scribe it out. Again, I just don't need to really but just mark it just so I know where it is. So. Yeah, okay, that's it. So I'll uh, take them over to, to the bench. So, right, let's give these a wipe. Couple of burrs. All right, deep bearing tool. So I'll just mark up which ones for what. <coughs> For the right and that one's for the left. Okay, so yeah, managed to get um, find a slightly longer bolt for the for the earthing strap there on the frame. Um, so I'll just quickly show you that. So I'll just obviously put it in place. Um, yeah, so I'll just. Um, I'll tie that up in a second. So I'll do I'll just line it up roughly for now. Didn't want to do that, I've got the washer the wrong way around. It's alright. 
tie that off. All right, um, so I'm just gonna find a nut and bolt for the other side. Okay, so definitely not the best angle. Um, yeah, just going off, going off of the phone there. Well, so yeah, it's definitely not the best angle, but yeah, it's kind of the easiest one. Um, okay, yeah, so nut and bolt. I'm actually just gonna use the old, um, the old bolt from that side and put it onto this side. the inside the same as the same as that side just so it's kind of matching I guess stick in there so to be honest I'll probably I'll probably end up taking these ones out this one out anyway um, uh, just because I'm not too sure I just can't remember what the what these these um, the smaller holes are for to be honest this completely um gone over the top of my head so um so i'll just see what the aurora um brackets are, are like and what they're for could probably do it with a slightly longer bolt but it's just to hold it in position for now it should be fine <coughs> stick with that one okay that's enough let's like say it's just a just to hold it whilst I get the two back ones lined up for the rear tank. Okay, so I think what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll bring you down. So I think what I'll do now is um, I will sand down the the tabs where I've welded on the bottom there, um, just because they're a bit. Um, the paint, some of the paint's a bit burnt, so I didn't take it back far enough. So um, I just need to sand that off just a little bit. Um, yeah, just get that back and, and uh, get it looking a bit bit more respectable. Um, and yeah, and then I'll just chuck some some etch primer on there. Wait that, wait for that to dry, and then I'll, I'll put some put some uh, some of the blue paint that I've got. Hey, so, uh, so yeah, so quickly just sanded the um, sanded those brackets down, uh, the bottom ones, and uh, yeah, just give them a, a, a bit of primer, um, just a bit of etch primer, and then the next step is just to get that get that blow on there. But yeah, just quickly show you what I've got so far. So yeah, don't look too bad. A little bit spotty, so I'll probably just give it one more one more coat. Probably don't need to with primer to be honest, but nah, doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so got the paint on. Doesn't look too bad. A little bit of a um, little bit of a colour mismatch, um, but like I said before, there's no there's no paint code for it. Um, not that I can find anyway. So um, it, it's fairly close. Um, yeah. So I'll just I'll quickly show you, and that's pretty much it for for the bottom mounts. Hopefully. So yeah. Not too bad, I'd say. A little bit of a colour mismatch that probably comes up more in the camera, but um, and probably come up a bit more in the sunlight. But hey, it's it's, it's not too bad, if, especially if, you know when I'm writing, you're not going to see it anyway. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, fairly fairly happy with that. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll I'll probably leave that to dry now for for at least 24 hours. Um, yeah, come back tomorrow and just um, just double check and yeah, maybe if I maybe if it needs another coat, I'll put another coat on. But um, I think it be, should be good for now. I think once I've uh, once I've installed the tank and finished messing around, I think I'll probably just um, just touch touch the paint up again. Um, yeah, at, at, at the very end, I suppose. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so I think I'll just leave that to dry for now, um, and yeah, I'll have a look at the the ECU tonight. Um, yeah, see what I can kind of draw up 
can I come up with? I'll probably measure up the ECU first, make try and get some sort of drawing together for a, for a, a holder for that, um, and go from there. I think. All right. See you later.